Today I'm out at the local range and I have something a little bit different for you guys. Now look at this. This is a Savage. And I don't know what model this is, but this thing is chambered in 222. It's a bolt action. It has a really nice leather sling on it. It's topped off with a weaver mount and a three to nine power um, Deerfield scope. Now look at that. So we're, we're gonna just, we're gonna shoot it. What are my targets? We got a couple half pound uh, Tannerite targets. So we're gonna set them about 50 yards and see if we can make some boom booms. Let's load it up and have some fun. Here's the five round magazine for the uh, Savage. So right here is the difference between 223 and 222. On the left is the 222. You see it's a little bit shorter, so there's less powder behind it. And on the right is the 223. There's still a 22 caliber bullet, but the uh, 222 is a little bit shorter case. I'm not sure what the velocities are exactly. This is a 50 grain projectile. Nothing but troubles today. Thanks, Walmart. <laughs> the first issue you were having, Derek, was because the magazine wasn't seated all the way? Correct, sir. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see what we can do this time. One shot, one kill. <laughs> one shot, one kill. Man, so this rifle is from right around 1949. It's a deer rifle. It's been said to kill deer out to a, a mile. And I, I don't know if I could believe that, but I, I wasn't there. But usually a 22 caliber bullet, you know, it kind of loses stability after a while. Man, that bucket. So we had a half pound Tannerite target and there was a bucket sitting on top of it. And... Once you shoot that tanner, it launches the bucket <laughs> pretty far. So that was, that was good. Nice shot, Derek. Thank you. I do my best work on my knees. I wonder what happens if a left-handed rifle shooter and a right-handed bolt-action gun walk into a bar. Nothing. Man, that action is really smooth. Now with the 222, the recoil is just feather light, you know. A 223 or 556 doesn't have a lot of recoil either, but this thing and this configuration just have a beautiful uh, recoil impulse. The action's really smooth. The trigger's amazing. And I guess a left-hander can work a right hand bolt. Awesome. So anyway, I just wanted to sh show you guys this rifle and you know, kind of bring you along for the ride. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.